Hope is an anchor in which we all continue to live by. We work for the hope of an easier life. We love for the hope of happiness. We change for the hope of forgiveness. And we are revolted for the hope of a better future. And when hope died, every soul scrambled back to the life that was forced upon them. They died along with the revolution. And the only difference between them and the martyrs is that they were unfortunate enough to live in its aftermath. Behind High Walls is a short film about a young man, Karim, who dies under unknown circumstances during the post-revolution days. Karim talks directly to the audience from beyond the grave, all while taking them through his funeral, or what we can describe as a miniature Egypt. Every character or set of characters introduces a sector of the Egyptian society, people who live among us, and people who are us. The story doesn't follow a linear structure, the camera focuses on Karim for a bit and then takes us to random scenes of the funeral. And this is where the puppet show comes in. Character 1. The Hopeless. Those who saw the crippling effects of the revolution. The ones who were hopeless about it because they have seen and lived its failures before. Character 2. The Aristocrats. Mubarak. Military rule. Military dictatorship. Corruption. Bribe. Nepotism. They were what they revolted against. They are the sector we wish to push off the high chair, but like a stubborn stain, they still remain more powerful and cautious than ever. Character 3. The Spiteful If eating the rich was a person, it would be them. But the irony here is that with enough money, they will turn into those who they maliciously hated. Character 4. The Rich Kids The ones who live in a self-inflicted bubble, unaware of any form of life below them. Character 5. The Young Activists Fighting for a cause they don't really know about. Everything is so messed up they don't know where to start. Character 6. The Bystanders Everything is useless, hopeless, unimportant. Everything is too much for them. If the world would go down in flames, they would happily sit and watch. And finally, Character 7. The Poor And I don't only mean financially, but socially. They are the front line, the victims, the death trolls. They are the first sacrifice in any revolution, and the first targets in its aftermath. Through these characters, the film emphasizes the high walls we build in our society. We're divided, and too different from each other, each living in their own bubble. Some are too comfortable to leave, and others are forcibly shackled down to it. The videography followed the storyline, which was divided between the reality and what's behind it. The first part is the funeral, where the camera focuses on the attendees and walks around with them and goes from one character to the other. The second part is beyond the grave, where Kareem talks to us and delivers his monologue. The camera shots in this part are either close-ups in important or dramatic scenes, or medium shots where the body language of the character is important. The film uses a dramatic soundtrack that is played in the background. It reflects the serious and important message that Kareem wants to deliver. The film doesn't have a plot twist or a high climax and resolution. The only thing in fact that raises some questions is the cause of Kareem's death. And despite it being mentioned a couple of times, the film's message overshadows the question. And rather than focusing on Kareem's physical death, it sheds the light on his buried dreams and hopes. The final point I will discuss is the allegories and hidden meanings. In Kareem's scenes, we can see him naked and standing in the pitch black background which symbolizes his death. This will continue on till the end of the film, where we see water being spilled on him. The scene represents an Islamic ritual in which the dead are washed before burial. I believe ending the scene with this shows how Karim feels hopeless and has nothing more to say, since in Islam, it's believed that the soul of the dead stays on earth until he or she passes through the funeral rituals, and only then can they rest. So in a way, Karim uses little time left on earth to deliver his message before he ascends. Another scene in the film is the one between the waiter and the contractor. It symbolizes the tension between the social classes in Egypt. In the scene, the contractor says, I'm the one who built his house and all their houses. The scene shows how middle and lower classes feel they are the ones who built Egypt and in return the high class and their luxuries. I would like to end the review on one positive and one negative aspect of the film. I enjoyed how the film shifted from the narrator to the other characters and how the scenes went on like a round table, where I got a sense from each character and their feelings and reactions of Kareem's death. However, I felt the acting was a bit off and could have been more believable. 
The crying especially looked fake and robot-like. Overall, the film carries a deep message that I believe still pops up in every youth's mind every once in a while, even long after the revolution has passed.